trapped inside your house or running the AC continuously to beat the heat. Introducing Insular Roof Insulation Tiles that help keep the heat out of your home. In this video, we'll show you how to effectively lay insular tiles on your roof. The entire process takes three days. Day one starts with cleaning. The next step is to provide sloping marks so that the rainwater does not stagnate and instead flows directly to the drains. Sloping concrete must then be laid according to the sloping marks. The sloping concrete should be mixed in a 1 is to 2 is to 4 ratio, which means 1 part cement, 2 parts of fine sand, and 4 parts of 6 mm blue metal chips. This sloping concrete must be allowed to set overnight. Day 2 begins with providing the base mortar for laying insular tiles. The base mortar must be mixed in a 1 is to 3 ratio, that is, 1 part cement and 3 parts fine sand. Once the base mortar is laid, the surface must be coated with a semi-solid cement slurry mix. And scratch marks must be provided for laying the tiles. Now that the surface is prepared, Insular tiles can be laid. Insular tiles must be laid with a gap of 5 to 6 millimeters. It is advisable to use spacers to maintain uniformity and enhance the aesthetic appeal. After laying the tiles, care should be taken to avoid walking on it as much as possible. This can be ensured by laying the tiles in the reverse order, that is, starting from the edges and working your way to the doorway. Day 3 begins with coving of corners. This is important to prevent the seepage of rainwater that collects in the corners. Rich mortar of a ratio of 1 is to 3 that is, one part cement and three parts of fine sand should be used for coving. Waterproofing compound can also be added to this mixture. It should be laid at a 45 degree angle from the parapet wall to the floor. The skirting tiles should be laid immediately before the mortar dries. The next step is to fill the gaps using grout. Grout is a mixture of grout powder and 15 to 20 percent water by weight. It should be stirred constantly till a creamy consistency is achieved. For best results, it is advisable to use only microtite, a special filling material. The grout should be poured evenly on the gaps between the tiles and allowed to set. This has to dry for two hours, after which excess grout can be cleaned with a dry cloth. Four hours later, when the grout hardens, the entire surface has to be cleaned at least twice with a wet cloth to provide a smooth finish. Water should be sprinkled over the surface after five to six hours to help the curing process so that surface cracks can be avoided. In summer, a wet jute sack can be laid over the surface to avoid contact with direct sunlight and water should be sprinkled over it frequently. And that's all it takes to keep your homes free of water seepage and heat.
How to stack insular roof insulation tiles. Stacking insular tiles correctly is very important as improper stacking can cause the tiles to chip and break. The tiles should be stacked one above the other vertically and not horizontally. Horizontal stacking can lead to chipped edges. This may not provide effective insulation from heat and will also lead to wastage. Care must be taken to ensure that the tiles are not dropped on the floor. They must be gently placed to avoid breakage.